everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today is an old fashioned haul video. I have been trying to get this done for quite some time, but there's been two factors that have been impeding me. One, work and life. Two, most of the things, in fact, almost all of the things are from Harrods and I won't go into details, but there's issues about how Harrods can ship to the US when it comes to customs and perfumes and a whole bunch of other things. So I have been picking these things up like since October and most of them have gotten to me. I actually have two more boxes that are still, they're on there, they haven't actually been shipped yet, but I decided, and you'll see in the picture I will put up, and it's probably in my thumbnail, that there was enough the boxes were like huge. Then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do the haul. And then the other things that come in, I will do reviews for you. I'll show them to you. Now, I asked specifically if you guys were okay with me doing a haul because again, I'm not the kind of person who likes to be like, look what I got. Uh, but these were all paid for with my own money uh, or, or and or a gift from my, uh, from my husband. So you were all like, hey, if you're buying with your own money, we don't care. So I'm like, okay. So we're gonna go through the call. Uh, so there's a number of different things in here and let me start with things that I've already talked about. So one, I, I picked up the entire Suku uh, holiday collection from Harrods and I've done a review on that. If you haven't checked out their winter collection, their holiday collection, some of it is actually still available and is really nice, really pretty. Some of the shades I absolutely love and I highly recommend. I just recorded my worst of video and there's only one thing in there from Suku and I, I don't even think it's available anymore. So, but many of the things that I picked up, I absolutely love, including the lavender powder. So I don't know if you can still get the lavender powder from either Harrods or, or uh, Selfridges or Liberty London, but if you can get it from somewhere, I do highly recommend it from that Suku uh, launch. So that was all in one of the Harrods boxes, the large picture that you see. Uh, so that was there. Then another item was the Guerlain Advent Calendar, which was a gift from my husband, which was incredibly kind. He was actually in London um, and picked it up for me and, and had, uh, had it sent. And I have been doing an unboxing of that every single day, usually late, because again, life. Uh, but anyway, it was also in one of those boxes, uh, unbeknownst to me at the time. So that's part of the haul as well. So let's go ahead and dig in. I'm trying to figure out the best place to start and there's just so much that I'm just, I'm just gonna start. Uh, okay, so the first thing is the Dior, um, uh, I'm gonna get it wrong, the Minogier, that's not right. Let me, let me see if I can get this right. Mino, let me, well, hold on one. Minogier. Minogier. I can't do the j, the j, the d j sound. Minogier. Yeah, no, okay. This is what it sounds like. Minogier. That's what this is. Um, so I have picked up this uh, every year that they've had it for the last three years. I have the gold one and the silver one, and I can do a video where you want to see, if you want to see the differences between them. But in here, you have uh, refillable lipsticks, and then you have the the case that you can use as a purse. And there's Rouge Fortune uh, in velvet, Mystic Plum in matte, Midnight Rose in velvet, and Enchanted Pink in satin. And what this looks like, pulls out like this. It, it is on sale, or at least it was on sale. I don't know if it'll still be on sale when this video goes up, but it was on sale at Saks, I'm pretty sure. So Saks is having a, like, a really good sale. Uh, all right, so you have a velvet package for the case to go into. It looks like this. And then inside, this, like I said, this year is black, black and shiny. Really, it's a beautiful case. And you've got the mini lipsticks here. You've got the mirror with, it's got like a sticker on it right now that has the same design. Or is that actually on the mirror? No, it's a sticker, okay. And then you've got the case here where this actually comes off. Let me see if I can get, figure out, yeah. Like this slides off. So you can have this separate if you want it to be separate. And there's the lipstick that's inside. And this is the full size lipstick and you can put the other ones in the case. In the uh, bullet, close back up. And then you can slide this back on the side. There's like a little 
uh, like little piece that comes out. And then, now what also comes with this is the chain. And like I said, I'm happy to show you guys the, um, on Instagram or anywhere else, the other uh, years, but you basically can wear this like a purse if you want to. I have never done that. Like I have never used the ones that I've had in the previous years, the silver, the gold one. Like I just, I haven't done it. Um, so I wasn't gonna pick this up this year because I'm like, I don't use them. It's not worth it. But I just, I liked it so much and it was just so cool looking. And I was like, well, <laughs> I'll use the lipsticks. Um, and I, I don't wear them as a purse. Like I've had this conversation with you guys about the Valentino one, for example. I'm not gonna get, I, I, I've been waiting to get the case that they have with the highlighter and the lipstick in it because I'm like, I'm not gonna use it as a purse. So I'm, I don't want to spend $235. So I'm just like, so I haven't picked it up yet. Okay, so fragrances. I have a couple, how many fragrances? Okay, there's a couple of fragrances in here. So this is the Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac. And this is an amazing fragrance. I'm going to take the, so this is what it looks like. And I do have a couple of Anishio perfumes. I really like their fragrances. Rehab is one of my favorites. That's a really good one. There's a bunch. There's like numerous ones that I like. But this one, um, Aphrodisiac, I like absolutely fell in love with. Where was I when I, I don't even remember where I was when I, when I smelled this, but I was just like, I must have it. I must, must have it. Yeah, it's really nice. I'll make sure the notes are below, but it has like a, a gourmand kind of scent to it. I love gourmands. Um, and if you're wondering why I bought it from Harrods, you can actually get fragrances a lot of the time um, if you're in the United States for much less if you're buying them overseas. This is a 3.04 fluid ounces, 90 milliliter. Next fragrance is a Killian. Now I love Killian scents. There's a number of them that have been discontinued that are my favorites. Uh, Sweet Redemption comes to mind. It's a great, great fragrance. Uh, but um, a couple of different outlets, and I, I think it was Harrods and maybe Killian itself, I can't remember, did a, or maybe it was Bergdorf's, they did a 15 year edition. The design on the bottles is unique. It's for specifically for their 15 year anniversary. This is Black Phantom. Black Phantom is a deep scent. It has um, keynotes, rum, coffee, and cyanide. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I knew there was something else in here. Um, it's, it's, it's a really unique, it's a unique fragrance. Uh, rum Accord from Martinique, akin to pirate's water, spikes the scent of strong coffee at its heart, balanced by vinegar essence. A deadly bite of cyanide accord hides menacingly, like the smile from death itself. Smile back as sugar cane and dark creamy sandalwood assures a trying journey, holds a sweet reward. This is a beautiful, but it is a strong scent. It's a heavy scent. Like it's not it's not a light, fresh scent at all. Um, and I actually didn't have a full bottle of this. I had travel sprays and the 15 year anniversary design totally brought me in and Harrods, and Harrods has it. There's also a clutch that you can buy and I did buy the clutch, but I don't have it yet. Cause again, it's in one of those boxes. All right, we're gonna continue with fragrance. And this is a, a really, um, this is a really special fragrance. Not that these others weren't, but this is um, Guerlain. And this is Imagine by Guerlain. And I mentioned this in my, um, I think it's in my Will I Buy It video. And I talked about the fact that Guerlain has special bottles that they do. And this one is, it's not one of the, uh, you know, $20,000 bottles, don't get me wrong. But it is a special bottle and uh, it is a limited edition. And, uh, you know, an expensive, uh, an expensive gift for myself. This is the bottle. You see the design with the, the B on the front. Uh, it is 4.2 fluid ounces, 125 milliliters. And I have not taken that out of the box yet. You can also see there's a, a travel spray over here. All right, so I've taken it out 
of the uh, of the box, and let me just explain a little bit about it. It is uh, there are three thousand nine hundred and sixty numbered pieces. It is Laotier Truskelli uh, from two thousand and twenty two. And the fragrance is a fragrance that I believe has now been discontinued. Um, Imagine came out and was out for a little while and is no longer in existence, I believe. Um, it says, the richest of noble flowers, the enveloping warmth of woods, with Imagine Guerlain, Ter uh, Terry Wasser, the house master perfumer, has distilled the fragrant uh, essence of Guerlain's imaginary world to compose the exclusive eau de parfum that will be the scent of the holiday season beyond. The orange blossom note carries all the way to the stars, a trail whose luminous softness contrasts with magic intensity, blending precious sandalwood with delicious benzoin resin. So I'm very excited to own this and thrilled to have it as part of my collection. I actually bought an antique cabinet to put all my perfumes in and I will be doing a video um, where I put everything into that new cabinet and talking about my perfume collection. Hopefully again soon, uh, once we get towards the end of December. More perfume. So this uh, sold out pretty much immediately. It was the 12 Days of Herod's fragrance calendar. And um, I am thrilled to have this because the, the perfumes that are in here are great perfumes. They're really unique. Um, and it's a, it's a way to try things that honestly, you know, are very expensive um, and you don't really get a chance to uh, try out uh, before you, you know, invest quite a bit of money in them. Um, so these are, you know, pretty good sizes and the gift itself, the, the 12 days, I think it was, I don't remember exactly how much it was. It wasn't that expensive. I mean, it was reasonably priced, um, for, you know, 12 different cents, um, at these sizes, but, um, there's, uh, MFK is in here, uh, Memo Par I, there's a whole bunch. And actually if I can put it up, put the list here, cause I feel like I have the list somewhere. Um, and honestly, I don't remember where, but, um, I didn't get this until fairly recently. Uh, I was going to do an unboxing of it every day, but again, there were some issues with, with shipping. Uh, but let me just show you like, so like if I pull out this one, this is the ex Nil uh, Nihilo perfume, uh, Paris. And this one, what scent is this? Brompton Immortals in its own parfum. It's a 7.5 milliliter. And so you have like a little bottle of it so you can try out this particular perfume. And the box that it in is, is just, you know, really cute and like nice to have. And it would be, a, it would be a great gift. Uh, I was like, again, hoping to, but it sold out like immediately. I mean, just to give you an idea. Um, and so here's another one that's in a bag. This is Montal Paris. Let's pull this one out. Oh, okay. This is the Arabian Tonka. Uh, if you've never tried a Montal, fragrance. They have these kind of like almost like metal bottles, uh, intense cafe risotto, uh, risotto, risotto, risotto is one of my risotto. That's no, pasta. Um, yeah, it's, uh, one of my favorite, uh, coffee scents. It's a really nice scent. I haven't tried this one, so that'll be really interesting. Let's pull out one more. I mean, why not? Oh, okay. Um, this, and I never get this name right. And I should, because it's, it's Terenzi, I'll put the name uh, up, but you can see like these are decent sized bottles of this per of these perfumes. This one is La Superba Rosso. I don't even know what that one is. Anyway, <laughs> it's a really lovely gift and I hope Harrods does it again next year. And I hope not only do they do it next year, but that they have, you know, more um, stock because like I said, I ordered this this is like October, literally. And I'm pretty sure it sold out like the day it was introduced. Um, if I remember correctly, it was like literally gone. Um, and so it came out, it was introduced. They're like, we're gonna have this 12 day calendar and then wasn't there anymore. Candles. So I picked up a bunch of different candles and we'll get into the ones that are like the more, they're all, they're all like special gifts, but like there's ones that are quote more easily accessible. Uh, these are the Diptyque uh, holiday candles. This is the red one. <laughs> There's the green one. And then the blue one, believe it or not, the blue one, uh, was gone. Like it didn't 
pop up until recently at Harrods. So that has not been sent either. Um, the Sapin, the, the green scent, is the classic pine scent that they do. It's not my favorite scent. It's not that I don't like pine. It's just that when I smell it, I think of the holidays. So the only time I burn it is like this time of year. Um, again, that's just me. There's nothing wrong with pine. Like pine is a, is a lovely scent. Um, but anyway, so I only got one green, but I did pick up two of the red ones and two of the blue ones, and the blue ones aren't here yet. These glow in the dark. Um, so let me show you. Let me open up one of them because I will, I do use them. I don't just buy them and like not use them. Uh, Diptyque is one of my favorite uh, candle makers, and um, actually I like their scents, like their perfumes too. And I love using their jars afterwards for my brushes and my uh, makeup products. So here's the lid that comes with like some of the Diptyque candles. Not all the Diptyque candles have lids, but most of them do. And there are special lids that'll have like a, a swan on it or a bird or like you can buy the Diptyque. It's beautiful. Anyway, so that is the Votive. It smells so good. This is a very warm, spicy scent. I just love this. That's they might want more. I mean, it smells really good. These these last a long time. You can burn them for quite some time, but they don't last forever. So, you know, when, when you burn them, you have the vessel, but uh, the scent is gone. I wish they had them in a bigger size even. But anyway, this is the bigger size that comes out. This is 6.5 ounces. There are the small ones, the small votives as well. And I have those along with, where are they? Right behind me. You can see the little carousels. Those, that's the blue one that I, that is still coming. And that's the red one over there that um, has the, uh, the carousels on them. And so I do get the carousels as well. The carousels, when you, I'll have a video or something that you basically, when you light them, the, the heat of the candle moves the, the, the spins it around. It's beautiful. Uh, it makes a great gift by the way. But um, yeah, these glow in the dark, which I just think is like, again, so unnecessary, but so incredibly cool. Uh, I love Diptyque for the, the unique um, signs that they come up with and the scents. And I also will tell you, in, in all honesty, they do burn slower than other candles and the scent is more enhanced. So it's not like just a regular candle. A lot of people ask me, they're like, well, why would you spend so much on a candle? I always have a candle burning. It's just what I do. And um, some candles just burn through very quickly and you don't get much of a scent from them. You get a little bit, but these are, most of them are, they're strong. Like they're a strong scented candle um, and they're beautiful and they last. And then when you're done, you have a beautiful votive to use for, well, you know, a host of things. And continuing with that Diptyque candle theme, this is the holiday base candle. Now, I actually did not get this from Harrods. Um, Harrods did not have this, strangely enough. And strangely, because like Harrods has everything, but they did not have this. And, sorry, it's, it's really big. Give me a second. Okay, so this is Bayes. Bayes is like a berry scent. It's, I, from my, what I understand, it's one of the most popular scents that they have. It's like super, super popular. Um, and this candle is black. The, the wax, and it's got this glazed black um, ceramic, and it also glows in the dark. <laughs> uh, the smell is intoxicating, and to be very honest, you do not need to light it to smell it. It's, it's strong. These are, these are potent. Um, I have the gold one behind me, and I've had it there. Move my chair over so you can see it. I've had the gold one for quite some time. Um, I have not burned the gold one, and uh, I don't know when I will burn the gold one. Um, believe it or not, they've become like collector's items because they only come out once a year for the holiday, and they only have like the, you know that design. Like so, this year's the beige with the black um, and gold flecks. I guess they're real gold um, that glow in the dark. Uh, and so I, I'm almost like tempted not to burn the candle but it's a candle and I feel like I should burn it. <laughs> uh, and that one's Fort de Bois. Uh, they have other large size candles that size that you can get. You can use them outside. You can just use them for a very large room and they take forever to burn down. I have amber as well. And uh, it's all three are beautiful scents. Probably noticing a candle theme here. Um, so Christian Dior, and I believe I had this, I had this in my Will I Buy or my gift set. I'll be honest, I don't remember what it was in. Uh, but Christian Dior came out with special 
gifts as I drop stuff on the floor um, for holiday. And one of the things that they came out with was a special candle set. And I'm just getting it turned around so you guys can see it better. Um, and it's in the same mode as the candle set I have behind me, but it's been specially designed for the holidays. That's what it looks like. And the scents that are in here are like my favorite scents. The 30, the 30 Montaigne, the Jardin de Ojans, and the Ombre Nuit, they're all beautiful. They are, I, I would say, um, the orange, the, ja, the orange scent, that one is floral. Like that has a floral orange blossom kind of thing. The 30 Montaigne is spicy, and so is the Ombre, yeah, so is the Ombre Nuit. So the Ombre Nuit and the 30 Montaigne are more like gourmand, spicy, woody kind of scents. Whereas the orange definitely has more of that orange blossom, a little bit more floral. But none of them, I would say, are scents that you, they're, they're, self, they're relatively safe scents, especially since they're a candle. Um, you can see behind me, I have a set that has the 30 Montaigne, the fig, and another scent that my husband actually got for me uh, at the Christian Dior when he was in London recently. And I love the Christian Dior candles. Like the Diptyque, they are, are very long lasting. They are very potent in their scents. So they really, you know, they give off a lot of um, scent to the room. And um, they are expensive, no doubt. Uh, but the votives afterwards, you know, you can keep for like all kinds of things. Um, and then the other thing that I picked up from Christian Dior, which is another part of their holiday set, and I'm running out of room to put things at this point, um, is a very special set by Christian Dior. So this is the Christian Dior um, ornament set. Um, there are three ornaments in here. These are handmade, hand, they're like velvet ribbons, and on the inside is velvet, is um, uh, lavender. And you can smell the lavender and they are absolutely stunning. And there's actually a video, I believe on Christian Dior's site that shows how these are put together by, by hand um, and like all the work that goes into them and the, the craftsmanship that goes into these um, and where they gather the lavender and the whole thing. It's a very intricate process and you know, Dior, Dior talks about special lavender and, and all of the good stuff. Um, and if I can, I can link that, I will. There's also another candle in here with the 30 Montaigne, but this is a much larger size with the design, the holiday design on it. It's just a beautiful gold and Prussian blue shade. Um, I really do love the 30 Montaigne um, scent. It's their, you know, if you will, signature since it's their building number. Um, but it's just a beautiful scent. It works for, for most people. This again, as I said, is, a, is an expensive gift. I'm pretty sure I put this in my gift um, video, but um, you know, it's something you keep forever. You can pass it down. The um, ornaments smell amazing. <sighs> really beautiful. Okay, there's a couple of little things, um, and then there's one last big thing that I'll talk about, although these are all kind of big things. Um, like I said, there's two other boxes that are on their way to me. There's some lipsticks in there. There's um, some things I couldn't get over here, like the shades that I could get, a couple of perfumes. There's a, there's a couple other things. There's that Killing Clutch that I talked about for the 15 um, year anniversary. Uh, I'll show you that when I get it. But I picked up another uh, Givenchy Prisme Libre powder. This is the loose powder for the holiday. I really love this powder. I think it is available uh, if you're in the United States uh, at various sites. If you find it, I really do recommend it, especially if you're somebody that's looking for a brightening powder um, and wants something that um, is good for average to drier skin. I don't find it mattifying, which is why I love it, because my skin is dry. So if you're somebody looking for a mattifying powder, I wouldn't recommend it, but I really like this powder. I was surprised how much I like the shade. And by the time I was looking for it, I bought one. And by the time I was looking for a second one, I couldn't find it. So I was like, oh, I'll just throw it in my hair order. Uh, and then I also picked up the Clay de Peau uh, holiday powder, which I've talked about. It was not, you could not find this stuff in the U.S. And it's really weird because, you know, it was in all the, like the pictures and it was like advertised as coming out. And even my essay was like, oh yeah, we're getting it. And then she just never got it. So I ended up getting it from Harrods and I really like the powder. I never picked up the regular loose powder that Clay Depot has, so I can't compare it, but I've been hearing for years how good their powder was. 
And I have to say, I love the holiday powder. Again, I don't know if it's really any different than the regular powder, but I love the packaging, I love the powder, and in general, you can keep powder for a really long time, so I was like, all right. So I picked it up um, from Harrods. Um, Augustinus Butter. So, I really do need to do a skincare update video. I haven't done one in a while, and my skincare has changed. Uh, I've mentioned that I've, I've gotten a, a series of pulse dyed lasers on my face, which I believe has made a huge difference in the way that my skin looks and feels, frankly. But I've also updated some of the products that I use. Um, one of them is a vitamin C slash, I'll explain it in the video, and I'll actually, I'll just post some things on Instagram uh, because I really, really strongly recommend it. And if I can use it, anyone can use it. Because my skin is very sensitive and I use it almost every day and I'm okay, which is impressive. And I really do think it's made a huge difference in the way that my skin looks. Um, it's not a brand I usually talk about, so I'll post about that. But Augustinus Butter, this is the Rich Cream. And I unfortunately have fallen in love with uh, the Butter Creams. The Soothing Cream, which is in a jar, and the Rich Cream. And I say unfortunately because it is very expensive. But I do feel like it's making a difference in how my skin looks and feels. So because of that, I literally have been milking. I had like two, like, I think they were 0.5 size rich creams. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it. And I had a full jar of the soothing cream that I got from Harrods like way earlier in the year. I've gone through the entire jar of the soothing cream and I love it. So I will buy that again. Um, but I use the rich cream in addition and like at night. I really like, I really like it. Um, it makes my skin, I feel like my skin is smoother. It looks smoother anyway, firmer, less red, more even, moisturized, dewy. There's fewer lines, again, that you can see. I don't think it gets rid of lines, but it, it makes your skin look, look like there's less lines. I'm actually very impressed with the Botter products. Again, I don't want to be, but I am. Um, one of the Chanel Rouge Allure locks in Rose Metier. It's funny because this came out like forever ago and I didn't pick up any of the locks here in the US because I was like, meh, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the, the formula. And then one of my friends mentioned it and said how good it was and how much she liked, the formula was much better than she remembers it being and that the shade was really good and uh, it is and I like it and um, and yeah. I'll make sure that I, I do a video with it so you guys can see it, but um, if this is available and in the shade, this number is 88. Let me look. Yeah, I think it's, I'm sorry, it's Rose Mister Mister uh, in 88, and it's the Rouge Allure Lock, L-A-Q-U-E, and um, yeah, she was right. The shade is great, and the color, and the formula is actually quite good. You know, it's one of those things I was like, I'm not going to buy everything. And then I didn't buy it. And then I was like, well, I'll throw it in one of my Aaron's orders. And I'm like, shoot, because I actually like it. Uh, this is not the last item. It's the second to last. These are Harrods Dark Chocolate Cherries. Now, if you've never bought chocolate from Harrods, there is something different about the chocolate in Harrods. I think it has something to do with there's just something different about chocolate overseas. If you're in the U.S., you'll know what I'm talking about. They don't have the same quality of chocolate. Um, it's just not the same. But anyway, uh, these are Amaretta, Amarena cherries, um, and they are coated in dark chocolate. Um, they are made, uh, they're produced in Germany for Harrods specifically, and they are so good. If you like a dark chocolate and you like cherry, like even a dark chocolate cherry, or it's not the, it's not the ones with the liquid comes pouring out. It's not like that. It's just a dark chocolate cherry. I'm slightly addicted. And the last time I talked to my uh, person there, she's like, do you want, which size do you want? I was like, there's different sizes. I guess there's a bigger one than this. I didn't realize that. This is 325 grams. Um, but the, the bigger sizes seems to all, all always be sold out. But I, I always want to have these. And I'm not a big sugar person or a big chocolate person. So it was surprising how addicted these like, I love these. There's also something called cocoa dusted pistachios. I, I can't even tell you how, I can't tell you how good those are. Okay, last, but certainly not least, um, you can smell this. I could smell this in the box, like 
before I opened it, I could smell this. And I'm not kidding. Like it's so potent. I don't know exactly how they did that, but it's, it's strong. Okay. What this is, I'm just trying to be like super careful with it. This is the Guerlain Ensemble de Hever. It's closest enough I can do right now. Uh, candle. And I want to take it out of the box extremely carefully because this is a special edition candle that they did. And I think I mentioned it uh, again in one of my videos. It's got a very intricate box to open it up so that you don't pull it out. You have to like, slide it out. And there's a base that has the Guerlain insignia on it. There we go. And then there's the candle. And the candle, it's very large. Hold on. I'm going to pull it out slowly so I don't destroy it. Is all wax. There's no vessel. It's just the candle. And it sits on the Guerlain base. And on the front of the candle is the B insignia. And there are four wicks at the top. And like I said, the scent, oh my goodness, is this thing overpowering. Wow, it's it's strong. If you don't like the scent, you're not gonna like this because it is so strong. Like, it, it has permeated the studio for, for days now. Um, <laughs> so strong. It's the giant, it's the giant scented candle. That's exactly what they call it. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's a giant scented candle. And, um, this is a limited edition candle, um, uh, with the base and everything. I'll take a picture of it so you guys can see it. It's hard to really like hold it. Cause I'm afraid it's gonna, I'm afraid it's gonna break. Uh, but the way you burn this, you can literally, uh, there's no, there's no vessel, but the what happens is the coating on the outside of the candle doesn't melt down. It melts down from the middle so that you have like the outer side stays intact, or at least that's what I understand. And then you have the metal plate at the bottom just, just in case. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's stunning and it absolutely is gorgeous to look at. It's absolutely beautiful. And the scent is so strong. I'm not sure I need to, I'm not sure I need to burn it like, it's incredibly strong without doing anything to it. Um, so I, you know, it's so beautiful. I don't even want to burn it. Uh, but you know, I, I saw it and I was like, I am such a Guerlain fan and I am such a collector of like unique pieces. And I picked up the Guerlain Imagine perfume bottle and I was like, okay, that's going to be it. But then I saw the candle and I was like, I must have it. So I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm going to burn it. And I know it seems like people are like, what? Uh, you know, you, you went through all that trouble to get it and, and paid all that money not to burn it. But for right now, the scent is so intoxicating and, and it's really, it's strong. I, I don't feel like there's a need to burn it. Like it's, it gives off scent just sitting here. Um, I will say the wax, you know, there's the Guerlain insignia carved in the back of the wax as well. On uh, the other side, it's got the B, but on the back, it's got the Guerlain. I would not want this to be like around anything like where it could fall or somebody could carve into it because it's wax. Like, so it could break easily. I think you could, you know, damage it easily. So I don't think it's a piece for just in your living room. I think it needs to be in a place that's away from things, but it's an exquisite piece. I'm thrilled to have it. I'm thrilled to have all of these things. And I feel, you know, very lucky that I've reached a point in my life where, um, I can pick up these things to add to, to, to my space, to my collection. Um, and that my husband of course got me the advent calendar, which was incredibly cool. And I've been opening that for you. Um, and there's so many like amazing products. So when I said that I was going on a low buy after December, this is why, like I purchased a number of things at, Herod's, I've purchased a number of products for all, you know, for the reviews here. So you guys can see them and, uh, I will be doing new product reviews. Um, there'll be a whole bunch of Dior over on Patreon spring and summer that will go up actually pretty soon. Um, and I'll do Tom Ford and Chanel, but I'm probably going to stay away from a lot of the spring releases. And unless you tell me that, you know, it's a must have, and you want me to try it, 
it's going to be more like going through my entire collections. I've started just doing some of those already where I show you like every lipstick I have in Lisa Eldridge or Chantecaille or Chanel. Uh, and you know, digging back into the things that I have, because again, I, I feel very fortunate to have all these things and I, I feel like I'm not using them as much as I could. Um, and also giving you sort of reference items. Like you can go back to it any time um, and say, oh, you know, I'm looking for a new lipstick. I wonder if it's like the shade I already have or what kind of shades does, you know, Chanel have or Dior have or whatever um, that I can compare it to. So I'll be doing a lot more of that because I feel like, you know, for now I'm more than, more than good. Uh, so more comprehensive videos coming up with the, uh, you know, collections that I have and the luxury bag collection that's on its way. Uh, there will be a Will I Buy It coming up soon and uh, I'll go through all the new releases or the sneak peeks that we've seen. But I can tell you, I think this, uh, Will I buy it? It's going to be a little bit different than the ones in the past. So with that, that's it. <laughs> that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.